you're gonna get your cornmeal mine I'll never get you cornmeal mine Laying in the evening shade When the taters needs prime I bet you keep crying The birds will fall off version of Lazy Bones, great Hoagy Carmichael standard. And well, someone asked me to do a version uh, a few months ago and I wasn't feeling well like it. Uh, but then I noticed a version by Rolly Brown and I've put a link in the video description. And I took his version, um, well, to make my arrangements. I changed it here and there but I follow his chord progression. So we're in standard tuning, but I'm tuned a half step low. So tune down a half step to get in tune with me. And if you're interested in the tablature, please open the video description. You'll find the necessary information for that. But I think, well, you can learn it without the tap as well. But I tapped it out completely. Well, the the main versions and I will show you some variations which I, which I did not tap out because, well, they're not that hard to follow. So let's start with uh, the first verse, slow, nice and slowly. start with the C chords and the first uh, two measures it goes from C to F 
And well, I, I knew, and that sometimes uh, I call it the ripple effect. It's probably some something flamenco. So my fingers are going lightly over the strings, and the temp follows. But you can do, of course, only with a temp or one finger, whatever it does the job. I don't do it every time. If you have the time to do it, it's a nice effect. M to F, once more. Walking up and back to F. Walking up again and then G7, pinch on the first, third and sixth string. Going to the fourth fret, second and fourth string. Open first and third string and C. And then we slide up to the 5th fret for another C chord, C7, and I add my 3rd finger. And try not to touch the other strings with your 3rd uh, finger, so that the C7 still rings. See? And then a C. We have to, um, well, depart from the alternating bass here, because, well, it would complicate things to go to do that movement, which you do with your first, your index and your second finger. Going down and up, and I play a bit with the rhythm there, trying to learn it as it is written out. Uh, nicely on the beat and try to play with the rhythm later when you master uh, the normal thing first. D7 and notice the muting by lifting my fretting hands. Open. The, uh, e string and then a G partial. I only fret and a thumb wrap. Sixth string, first string, and third string, and I add the pinky and the third uh, finger to get that fifth fret, first and third string. And then, well, it's a sort of a G chord, I guess, and then so. So the full 7 bar has nice um, movement in the bass. And in the 8 bar you see that C chord and then the open E string, it's not a melody note, so I put it within uh, parentheses. Um, it's there, but very softly. It's more sort of a pickup note. Lots of hammer on there. Pretty much nicely on the chords that they help you to get the right, uh, uh, well, the right notes, and especially in the third uh, uh, measure. How do you expect to get your days? You have to see that days is really on that uh, C note there. And then for 
third reverse I used a different turnaround, um, mainly. And this one you can find in the 26th measure and the 27th, it's also the turnaround I use in the solo. So that uh, covers that. And sometimes I add a note in the tap, the 26th and 27th measure is like this. Sorry. But if you add the note to the first beat of the 26th measure, like that, you get a lot of uh, dynamics there. Da, 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 like that. All right, that's it for the first verse. Um, the vocals are the same in every verse, uh, but I do a small variation, and you will see that in bar 10. Lazy bones, sorry, lazy bones. And the only difference is that instead of the open E string, the thin E string, I play the open six string E and I don't do a but lazy bones laying in the shade how you gonna get your corn corn is on that sea corn meal mine now you get your corn meal mine sleeping in Another different um, turnaround, and it's pretty much the same as bar 26 and 26 and 27, except I play on the second beat four notes uh, on one beat, so that's a lot. It's typical blind Blake lick. So first string, third fret, open and then simply the two second and the third uh, string which you hold in the C chord. And then... One more time. When the tables need spring, I bet you keep praying the bird So the bridge, I'm going to an F chord, and I already started singing um, a bit before that. And when the haters, so now when the is just before we start the um, the F chord. And you see that on the second page, bar 35, I wrote Wenda on the last beat. You can drop the now, the word now. Okay. Here. So that 11th measure, I use a full F. So everything is fretted except the open first string. And we need that to be able to do that up uh, rake, up rake. rake. So. And. Like that, I rake with my index and then fall apart right down. Lots of double basses, of course, that gives it a swingy feel, slow swingy feel. 
that um, 12 measure I pick with my three fingers. That upstroke. And keep trying to keep it short. Now when the taters meet I bet you keep praying Love fall off the vine So in the 13th measure It's a typical um, diminished chord shape Normally you play it here You can play it also in the inside strings So 4-3-4-3 four, three, four, three, and going down by the C chord. Fall off the vine. Nice intermediate, um, well, interlude. Hammer on in one beat. C chord. And you, I try, I keep my fingers there on the E string and I block them so I, I don't have to take care because it, it doesn't sound good. So I don't want that open E string uh, to ring. And I do that with my fingers here. I block it. pinches there and then when you go fishing I bet you keep wishing nicely on the beat all the words and we're going from C a double bass of course and then to a B7 which is your A moved up and with a bar added going down A flat uh, sorry A sharp 7 or B flat and then your A7. When you go fishing, I bet you keep wishing the fish don't get better line. Lady Bones, so going to the D7. And that, that triplet really. Uh, support the vocal there. Fish don't grab at your line. Nice blind black run. Lazy bones. Over the last verse, I'm doing really a slight variation. Lazy. I'm sliding up with my pinky to the fifth fret first string. Lazy bones. our introduction to the solo so I'm playing bar 26 at the end and then I second half of that first beat so the C chord partial F up to a G chord like that
So, the first part of the solo, we have that C chord, pinky to the fifth fret, and then triplet, and let that play. Now we're going flamenco the whole way. And mute it afterwards. You can do, of course, jump and then with the side of your hand. Again, let it ring. Pinky, middle finger, right hand. string, index, little trill, jump, in a C9 chord, usually you see it like this, now it's almost, um, it's like a B7, but the pinky is added to the second string and you move up so you get a C9 chord. And Upwards with two fingers, like that. And if you hit hard enough, you get that funky sound. And mute, of course. You don't want that. Same as before, but on the third beat. You might want to play with the right hand with the temp instead of... You can do it with the two fingers, of course, of the right hand. But with the thump, it's a bit stronger. Sorry. Let it ring. And mute. Lots of triplets there, and I accent every first note of the triplet. Sorry. So for the second part of the solo, mute, part 28, pinky, and we're going back to the melody, one more time. followed by a F sharp diminished chord, 5, 4, 5, 4, and both are muted. And you see there's a fermata sign above that bend. You can hold it longer than just the, well, three quarters of a beat that's indicated in the tap. But the thing is that you should, um, well, if you tap your foot, that C note should be on the beat as if you keep on tapping while... So then, in that case, it doesn't matter how long you hold that one, as long as you Follow it, let it follow by being 
on the beat for that triplet of the last, the last beat of uh, measure 30. Again, really funky, and that's, I get that by pinching and hard. Not like that, but so you get an almost metallic. Uh, and I pinch with my thumb and middle finger for the second string and the index for the third string. And thump and index are hitting so hard, pulling so hard, that the string above the, the fourth string also rings. And then it's followed by a... And I let that ring. Measure 32. We're just going through an, a, a D chord. D7. Notice that. G chord like that now when the table gets right I bet you keep trying the birds fall off the vine that's the only variation when we play the bridge a second time instead of simply going into the, the D uh, C chord and it's that's triplet, triplet, triplet and that's a duple. You can do a triplet, three triplets also. And then our C chord. And then oh yeah, we have another slight variation there for the section of when you go fishing. So. La, da, da. So the variation is bar 15, same chords, so that B7 chord where we normally play I do. So the second half of the third beat and the first half of the fourth beat are, are like that. Once more and slow. When you go fishing, I bet you keep wishing the fish and so on. Notice the muting. You go fishing, I bet you keep wishing, and so on. Um, and then we have another variation. What's a good way to uh, make a variation is to play the same thing but from, well, upside down. <laughs> and that's for measure 18 where we used to have. And I'm making it. Third fret, first fret, third fret, first fret, third fret, open, open. Fish, grab at your line. And still that double bass.
Yeah, so we're ending on on bar 27. That's first part, uh, sorry, bar 26. Open seconds on the third string. Second string. Notice I'm using all my fingers to do that bend. Slide, don't pick it. Something like that. So it's uh, hammer on on the third uh, fret, first string, fifth fret, pull off, pull off, going to the C. chord and you know harmonics of course 12 frets higher you have the harmonic if you pack, grab your C chord 15 uh, 12 frets higher will be the 15th fret you have harmonics on the first three strings so I'm going down and using the palm side of my palm to go over the 15th fret and the first strings are normal, but the other strings, the first three strings, I have that harmonic. So the temp does a strum. Yeah, that's it for Lazy Bones. Have fun with it.